Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can simply deploy your Django projects on any cPanel without the need of terminal. So uh, let's go to my projects, which will be GitHub. In so this is my little Django project, and which will be uploaded in. Um, the domain at boxrec.com so this is pure html what it is here and we want to replace with django so we need to go to the cpanel cpanel okay. so now log in to cpanel so in the file manager we're going to the file manager uh, we'll go to the public html so here is the thing that is right now currently on the site so i will select everything and delete it see it with the light and delete now i need this project to be here so what would i do i will just simply download the zip open the folder and if we extract it let's look at the files so here in this um, uh, in this directory you can see that there is requirement.txt so it li uh, it lists all the required packages that require for this project so the important part is django 1.2.1.2 uh, so django 2.1.2 is what widely supported in this kind of platforms like cpanel other than that or higher version than that will cause an error which is basically sql error that requires with uh, my sql uh, or whatever the database I, I am currently using so if we just simply go to for example uh, we need to run these projects okay yeah uh, let's not worry about it we'll just simply type cmd here so it will give get us here so from here if we want to run this project we need to install the requirement files so just simply pip install minus r or hyphen r requirements.txt Make sure you have python in your system otherwise it will not work now if we uh, migrate like python manage.py make migrations it will create a migration then we just simply migrate then we need to make a super user so python manage.py create Super user so my super user is for definitely uh, is successfully created now if we run this project python manage it by run server it will run the project on this location that is local location 27.0 okay so let's wait. Mm -hmm. So there are a bunch of CDNs in the project, so that's why it's taking time to load. But it will load eventually. However, uh, we let's go and make a zip of it. Like add to archives zip. Okay, so we need to close the project to make it easy. Let's go. Cool. Come on. So, there you can see the files come out, but the CSS is not, has not loaded yet. So, let's, let's not worry about it. This is not our, like, this is not our goal. We want to just deploy it. So, 
Ctrl C, we now let's rename it to just simply a box. Box. Now, if we add to archive, zip, the zip is done. So if we go to the browser and go to zip panel file manager, up in the directory here, we want to upload that zip file. So if we upload it, upload. The file is uploaded almost. Let's wait for it to verify. The upload is complete. Now we uh, we, we will see this zip here. We need to extract it. Extract the add box. So now, if we refresh this page, we will see this folder add box. Well, I think I have created a multiple of this folder. I'm just I'm simply um, rename back. Let's rename this to X. Just, and now we want to move it. Move, how do you move? Like move to center slash here. Where you can see the add box folder is already here. Now, if we simply delete this, that's done. So now that is left us for to create a Python application from here. So from cPanel, set up a Python app. This is time consuming. Now create a new application, create a new web application and I will be using Python 3.618 and application root would be Adbox. And the URL will be this startup entry point. I, I will not go over there, just create. Once you create or uh, you open or go to the URL, you sh it should be something like uh oh, I, I have deleted it, right? Yes, it works Python 3.6.8. So basically, our uh, Python app is working now. We need to connect it to our Django app. So before we connect to our Django app, we need to install the Django into this environment, whatever the environment it has created. So all we need to do is we write requirements.txt whatever the files that we made earlier are the requirements file that we have in the directory like here and here you can see that uh, if we go edit it right, uh, it has application like this is the function that is showing over there like if we go there this is the function that being executed so we need to have it in a way that this application should execute our Django project so let's install the Python requirements so just click Python install it will automatically install all the required and that listed on that requirement the txt see everything's um, installed so now we just simply stop the app and we go to the, our passenger.wsgi all we need to do is just write from add box import application and that should be working 
like here from a oh, sorry i need to change it again from adbox to wsgi we sorry if we see this file there's a thing called uh, application we need to call it from the uh, from the passenger wsgi so what we will do we will simply go back simply edit edit from adbox.wsgi save changes now we go over there and run the application again and see if it works see it works but it's giving me invalid http header and box trick you may need to add this to your allowed host so when do we add it we add it on our settings so here from the settings uh, we simply go over there and on our allowed host we need to simply modify it to add box rec that is our domain dot com and www.addboxrec.com so this total domain it has been added now if we save the project and restart our Django project and open it again it should be working see this is everything is working but there's a catch no HTML or CSS is being shown here like all these plain HTML now no CSS has been shown here so what we need to do is simply uh, I have created this HTML project already so everything I, I will do is I'll just collect it to our public HTML like uh, select everything select all then move it to just simply public slash public HTML and it should move the file over there from here you can see public HTML is now populated with these files so if we just simply refresh this page see voila it works so this is just a demo site I'm, I'm working for this domain right now but this is just a demo we are not in the final product just starting but I wanted to show you how you can simply deploy your Django project in our cPanels and because a, a lot of people find it hard even myself I tried three or four times and maybe even more than that to get it to work so I think it will be useful for everyone and I will show you when we uh, add our backend slash database to the project so stay tuned subscribe and share if someone needed this help take care bye bye